Okay. So we walk into Kaimul carrying a bunch of bloody dire wolf pelts. <laughs> yes. Skinned or whatever the hell you wanted to do with them. I don't know exactly what happened at the very end of the game. Um, we did get those uh, dire wolves. Bias could not hit any with the fucking guiding bolt, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to Kaimul. And your trip after those dire wolves was pretty uneventful. Um, and nobody really seems to stop you when you get to Kaimul. So, what would you guys like to do? You have several weeks or days here if you want to. Downtime. Um, you were staying at the Cranky Duck, I believe, so... Probably. Unless yeah. we decide to stay elsewhere. I don't uh. remember exactly how much we paid per room. <clears throat> uh, Talia will just stick by Diona. Yeah. But Diona does seem to be a little bit... Not quite wobbly on her feet, but... In the aftermath of that. Of course, and she's also probably the one carrying a fair amount of pelts. Since the horse is occupied by a, <laughs> a wayward twink, and... Vi Vias also, uh, by the way, would have been on the horse with Dylan to keep him upright, not letting him, like, drink yep. over the side like a mm -hmm. sack of potatoes. <laughs> Uh, Talia would take a couple of the pelts, or however much they can carry. Okay. So probably once we get to town on a fur or a leather walk off to... Okay. <clears throat> Would you like to roll an investigation investigation check to see if you can find one? Uh I don't Talia think I actually will. need to. I don't think I actually need to, because I think Dana because we have established that Kaimal is one of the cities that Diana has been to. Will... Roll for the number of brothels in Kaimal. There's at least one. <laughs> <laughs> There's at least one and it's damn good. Well, to be fair, Kaimul is compared to Las Vegas, and I don't know how many tanneries are in Las Vegas. I mean, it is the middle of the desert. There's gotta be a couple. Uh. <laughs> and I also don't think that it's the middle of the desert in Taltori. I think it's... Um, but the reason I say I don't think I actually have to roll is once I find the ability that I'm looking um, for. Did you guys roll for survival or whatever it was to harvest those? Yeah. Uh, we were ta having it as take ten, as basically um, we took like an hour or so and took ten. So. You took ten pieces of hide? No. I There's the rule in the book of you can do it over longer. And effectively treat it as you rolled a 10, or if you want to take even longer, a 20 on the dice. Okay. So you had 10 then. Or 10 DC, or whatever the heck. <coughs> uh, for the record, that's, um. Ren, that's what I'm referencing for the. Uh, are, you sh uh, are you going to make me roll an investigation? <laughs> because. That's fine. I mean, that's... You've been to Kaimo before. You would know if there was tanneries. Yeah. Or furs. And probably the best ones to go to. For getting us all wolf cloaks. <sighs> Except that most of us have cloaks. Aside from the ones that don't. <laughs> um... uh, yeah, we should probably establish who here doesn't want Vias is good. He's not gonna wear another animal skin. Um, we know Susanna will not. Talia's just on the, the, the side of, like, well, use him. 
Yeah. Get it done. So there were... Were there four of the smaller walls, or were there more? I thought there were yeah, five smaller ones. Smaller one. uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I can only see four on the map, is why I was asking. Hey, Josh? Josh? Uh, how, how, many, yes. how many small wolves were there? Four. Four, okay. Okay, so we've got four, and then we've got the real big... Alright. Yeah, there's a big boy. Big wolf. Big boy is for Diona, right? We've decided this. <laughs> I think so. Okay, well, Diota, you would have probably figured out by now that the best place to go to for um, these, an estimate on how much those are worth, is Tamel's Tannery and Trading Post. It's this kind of small, rickety building. It doesn't see a ton of use, um, mostly because the reason people come here is to do crimes and be gay, you know, gamble, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> no, but um, uh, are you trying to hint us at something? No, <laughs> but it is Pride Month. Happy Pride. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, yes, yeah, so that that that's one of the reasons I actually did remove everyone from jail so that <laughs> we have mostly our rainbow again. Bless. Even if it's in completely the wrong order, but I don't feel like tweaking everyone's nicknames to have it be right. Who needs rainbows so to be in the right order? It's close That's like enough. gender roles. What's a gender? Question mark. Don't know him. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's a... Uh, let's say an orcish fellow. He's kind of just... Oh god, I have no creativity right now. Oh, come on, brain. Yeah, he's kind of just, like, leaning up against something in his wares. Um, I don't know exactly who's going in here. Probably Donna at first. Uh, sorry, Ren. I kind of spaced a little bit. Can you just repeat what the last thing you said was? Um, basically, the person who owns this tannery, uh, they're kind of an orcish fellow. Um kind of dressed in his own wares. It seems pretty fairly crafted. Nice leather work. Um, nice stitching. That sort of thing. Seems pretty well off compared to the the, uh, the outer part of his dwelling. Um, and he seems to keep his stock inside um, quite organized and neat. Um, whoever walks in he looks up almost immediately and gives you a big toothy grin. Can I help you? I like to imagine that Talia is also standing there with a bunch of pelts in their their arms and like have to like look over them a little bit. <laughs> oh, you got a bunch of pelts there. You're looking to we sell. We had a bit of a. Actually, we're looking to get them made into. Oh, maybe. We're looking to get some cloaks out of these. Wonderful. Okay. Well. We can make some nice cloaks out of those. Uh, mind if I take a look at them? Well, okay. Diana's certainly going to hand over the ones she's carrying. Talia will also, like, <laughs> onto the counter, like, <laughs> struggling a little. <laughs> he kind of, like, helps them, just, like, picks up a few and um, sets them onto the counter. Kind of lays one Ta out. Hmm. Talia's very careful not to make skin contact with this fellow, but yeah, other than that. Good. He doesn't seem to uh, notice too much. He's kind of eyeing over the pelts, looking for how, how it's been cut. Um, kind of quietly nodding to himself. Alright, alright. This is done pretty good. Uh, how many are you thinking about getting made? Holly just looks up at Diona. Yeah, Diona kind of... Uh, the big one into one, and... 
three. And then the other pill, yours to do what you like with. Just make it into something as a surprise or to sell to me. Uh, well, I have to sell that one, uh, sell the last one to you. Alright, alright. It's done pretty nice, whoever did this job. Ah, let's see. Um, three cloaks at about. I think Talia smiles because I think they helped with that. <laughs> they definitely did. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I'm gonna look it up real quick. Mm, let's see. Traverse Club. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I'm just looking at um how much they cost and stuff just to see what okay. Yeah. Did you see what I PM'd you, by the way, Ren? Um, give me a second. I didn't want to look at it because we're streaming, so I'll look at my phone. I mean, how dare you? I didn't want to look at it because that'll make it show up on the, um, recording. True. Uh, it's nothing like that. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Oh my god, where is it? Um... Why doesn't it have a wolf in this list? That's dumb. So, he takes a look at the state of the pelts and says, Well, usually when I'd sell these, they'd be about five gold pieces a piece. However, since you're providing the skin, the fur, I'd say maybe two gold per cloak made. And I will buy the pelts off of you for three gold. Oh, that one pelt. Sounds reasonable. So he will wait for six gold in exchange for making three of those cloaks. And will give you three gold in exchange for that pelt that you did not want. So it'll end up being about five gold total yes. mm -hmm. spent. Yep. One's free! <laughs> Maybe I'll put this in our... Uh, I'll put this in a reference chat too, by the way. So you guys can see what I was looking at. Or resources. I kind of went off a little bit of the... Uh... <sighs> Gosh, my brain is not working today, apologies. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, um, he tells you, well, those should be done in about, let's say, six hours or so. Uh, okay. Honestly, we're going to be in town for a few days, so. Beautiful, okay. Uh, my name is Manuel. Pleasure doing business. What name can I put under these? Uh, don't know where Walker. If you need to, we'll be over at the Creaky Duck. And you can send a runner if you need to. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. I oh, think you notice a very sharp inhale from Talia, but they don't say anything. Well, it's a pleasure doing business with you. And I will have these done when they are ready. Yeah. You have a good day now. And thanks for the business. And he basically scoops up all the pelts yes. in one arm and, like, picks up his ledger that he's been writing in um, with one hand and kind of, like, tucks it under his other arm <laughs> and waves you um, off while he goes to the I think Donna gets outside and then she sort of freezes and drags her hand on her face and just sorry Charles, I didn't oh, yeah. No, no, it's alright if, if you thought it was safe then fine You, you should go home you're tired huh? Yeah Probably it will smile and take your hand and give you some support to get you back to the Oh, 
Alright, so we're all heading back to the inn then? Mm-hmm. Okay. I believe so. Um, well, unless someone else is doing something else. Um, I think that's probably good then, yeah. Probably end up going to the inn. Uh, your days that we had reserved um, are up, I'm pretty sure. Because I don't think we rented for an extra week or anything. Yeah, we definitely, like, don't have rooms right now. Yeah, so the, I believe it was, like, some dwarvish woman that was... It was a dwarf, yes. Um, what was I going to say? There's probably only two. Um, I think she sees you guys walk in, and she kind of um, blinks a little bit at it, um, realizing that you're back. And... Well, good to see you again. Oh my God. She has a magically rotating accent. Yeah, I don't. We're all DMs. I don't know what accent this woman has. I think it was light southern, and then it went Scottish, and I don't know what you're doing now. I don't know either. What is? This? And I, I, I think it was accent. British when Amy. I think it was British when Amy did it, and so whatever now. Maybe I should try southern. Just go back yeah, to the no, start. We're just gonna make it canon that this woman has a rotating accent. It just has a. She does it to confuse her victims. <laughs> <laughs> Lore for this woman. Well, basically, what she tells you is that there's only two rooms left available. The one that we had, we had three rooms originally. Um, it seems like one of them has been occupied by another traveler. Um. So, she does tell you that there's two rooms available, but that clears out, basically. Um, so, if you wanted to rent rooms again, it would only be two rooms. I mean, since it seems like Lena is going to be staying at the temple, okay. just based on what Amy has given us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... Um, and I'd say... Vias is probably going to want to room where he can keep an eye on Dolan. Yeah, definitely. Um, he d is not, um, uh, he doesn't care if he rooms with anybody else. It's, it's no matter. I can take a room with everyone else. I don't think Dylan would mind too much either. Um, and the rooms, I believe, were like two gold, four gold apiece. Let's say two gold. So, four gold. Vias will probably pay for it. Take four out of his own funds. Or actually, no, we have party funds, don't we? Uh, Ron, you're dropping in and out. At oh. least on my end. I don't know if that's because my connection's shitty or what, but... No, I'm also experienced. Okay, yeah. maybe it's my headphones? Is it my headphones? Well, now you're solid. Okay. Well, yeah. basically she tells you that it's two gold per room. Um, and I believe we can basically take four gold out of there. It's two gold per day per room. So four yeah. gold for the two rooms per day. Depending on how long you want to stay. Yeah. Well, we know that we want to stay at least until the 20th. So... And in the universe, it is the... Oh, I put it in the chat. It's the 16th, right? It, yes, it is the 16th. Okay, cool. Yeah. So oh, so we know that we want at least through the, 20, uh, through the 20th. Yeah, probably longer. Probably um... longer, but... Oh, man, I really want to find my other headphones. Also, guys, I need to quickly be RB. Okay. I... Find where my other headphones went. I don't know where they are. But yeah, we have rooms now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm looking through my stuff to see if I can find my heckin' headphones. My better ones. <sighs> I'm gonna find them. Oh, I found them. <laughs> oh, thank gosh. 
Okay, let's see if I can switch the audio here in a second. Oopsie, now they're all tangled. Apologies, apologies. Ooh. Okay, there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is that better? Okay, because I, I think it'll help. These have a way better mic than my skull candy headphones. <sighs> Well, um, I'd say it probably takes somebody to help Vias drag Dylan's unconscious body up to a room. <laughs> Vias, like, attempts to do it on his own, but <laughs> Vera just is like, no. <laughs> Thank you, Vera. Uh, yeah, and he probably boards, um, Luci- uh, fucking A, not Lucius. Uh, Lucifer, he boards his horse, um, and Vera's ass. <laughs> Cause we still have that one. <laughs> it's probably like, yeah. Probably for like, yep, <laughs> Vera's ass. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can all take a long rest if you feel like that's necessary. Otherwise, just sonk out. Um, I don't know what Vias used because none of it was marked, question mark? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. Did you use Guiding Bolt as, like, a first level, or how many second levels? Okay, yeah, then you're fine. I was just wondering if he lost any HP or anything. Okay. Yes, the punchy ones. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, I think... Did any- would anybody be rooming- probably somebody would be rooming with Vias and Dylan in that room. Um, he... Yeah. <laughs> yes! Abandon her! Thank goodness. Breath of fresh air. <laughs> Bless. Um, no. <laughs> Susanna can politely request of the dwarvish woman downstairs if there's an extra bed available to sleep on that can be brought to the room. <laughs> Yeah. And I totally forgot what that cost to do, because I know I did it last time we had a downtime, and now I can't fucking remember, because it's been, like, half a year. <laughs> yes, so she done did it, and she got her bullet-making supplies. Like a crafter in a craft store. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, Vias, during this time, 
would probably turn to um, Vera in their shared room with Dylan. Um, uh, I I have something I wanted to go take care of. Um, I'm going to leave Mercy here. Uh, she'll, she'll let me know if something happens or if you want to talk. If you say something to her and you want to speak to me, I, I can go through her. Um, I, I'm just going to, like, and he kind of, like, gestures to the door while he's walking towards it. I'll be back in, like, eh, six hours, maybe. Not too long. Uh, I trust you be good with this. Yeah, he takes Luc uh, Lucifer and goes trotting down the path that he knows goes to Charlie's place. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good. Gotta get them Z's. <laughs> Time is irrelevant. <laughs> ha! She can't ask us what time it is. It's midday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we love you, but fuck you. Also, I hope you're having fun in like the next week. So, there's that. <laughs> to be fair, she bullies everyone. <laughs> oh, man. Mercy just watches you unblinkingly. <laughs> and then watches Dylan for a little bit. She just gives like a little chirp. And like a bird shrug. <laughs> you know, as birds do. <laughs> Yeah. They like lift their wings like in a weird fluffy way. It's cute. It's very cute. I love birds. Yes, he would have been taking Lucifer, so he didn't have to walk the entire way. Probably riding a little bit faster, I guess? Not like, gosh bless. <laughs> Woo! Vias will dismount and do so. Vias dismounts when they gesture him in and... Oh. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Thanks. And he just kind of, like, hands him over with a, a gentle pat. Good boy. And then he will enter the estate, I suppose, if it's possible. <laughs> and he's not. Mm. Okay. Yes. Vaestatari. Yes, I was going to inquire if Moira was, uh, Lady, Lady, what the hell was her last name? Christ. Yes, Lady Quibley. Hi, Vias in character would know Quibley's last name. Christ. <laughs> I, for one, it's been months. <laughs> um, his voice, his face kind of falls a little bit. Oh, uh, I was just going to speak possibly to Lord <sighs> to your Lord uh God damn it, Charlie <laughs> What was his last name? I can't fucking Thank you Okay, uh basically God damn it I can't today. Um Yes, I was going to speak, possibly. I, I was hoping to speak to Lady Quibley, however, uh, I suppose Lord de Villiers would be uh, second best. Um, I... Vias goes and digs in his boots and pulls out all five of his knives. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out his crossbow that's been hiding underneath his, <laughs> his five knives, a crossbow behind his back, and puts his staff on <laughs> right next to it. He would have had six. <laughs> so many to stab with. You need at least one for each limb. <laughs> Better odds. <laughs> you stab it a few times and you make salad. Ta da! <laughs> That's why you get a rapier instead, it's longer. <laughs> Bless. Yes. You don't have to try that hard with a paring knife. <laughs> They're pretty sharp. Of course, I wouldn't dream of it. I only came because I wanted to make sure it had been spoken of anyways. <laughs> mm.
I apologize if this is a bad time. Uh, I didn't. It, it, it's somewhat of a delicate matter, however, uh, I was hoping to speak to Lady Quibley before she left, however, it seems I missed my chance. Of course. Um, are you okay? I, I don't mean to pry, but... Oh, I apologize. Um... Oh. Oh my. No, oh, that that definitely is something I understand. Um Um, Vias kind of goes a little less, uh, kind of, like, open-faced and kind of more serious-looking. Um, and kind of, like, adjusts his stance and says, I had come here hoping to talk with her and come to an amendment to our contract from before. Something she might find even more interesting. And more useful. Bias. Of course. Um. I'm trying to think of what he would do in this situation. This is a lot. Um. I don't really want to sit here and write in the letter, but. He he basically mutters, "I don't really want to sit here and write a letter." A letter, but and he probably kind of like looks around the room to see if there's any sort of thing he could write a quick note on. Oh. I would hope so, but... I was hoping... I was hoping to offer her a chance to see Haven for the first time. It's not a place you can go to without a shipper, and I happen to be one, and I...
<laughs> my, uh, my other amendment to this instead of research is I was hoping possibly that she would find an actual portal to the Feywild, not just research. She'd have an entire week there, and honestly, I think you would probably enjoy it as well. My family lived there as well. I really shouldn't keep you, huh? <laughs> Bias kind of like covers his mouth for laughing. Mm, I understand. <laughs> well, I wish you luck for that. And I hope it goes well in her favor and yours as well. He just nods. I, I won't expect it. Of course, no. Th this is just something I wanted to amend before uh, we went anywhere else. We'll be staying in Kaimul for at least a week. Maybe longer, I'm not quite sure. If we leave at all, I might come back and leave a message with the staff here, if there's any left. Of course, as one does. I was not on the peak of my game when I talked with her last. I assumed support and I was quite tired that day. Yes, it was. <sighs> Usually I am better. <laughs> Of course, of course, and he kind of gestures to the side. Please don't let me keep you. I only wanted to come to speak of this. Uh. I think before he runs out, Vias, like, kind of grabs something and fixes it for him and gives him a pat. There. <laughs> Anytime, Mr. Deviator. Vias gives like one of those like uh at the hip bows and does the same. To you, sorry. Safe travels, dear. <laughs> I think he gives a small chuckle. And like, if the carriage goes off, he probably waves after it. Yep. <laughs> Bless him. I think he kind of takes a moment to take a look at it. Like, well, there's not a huge ton of people and just gives a nod to himself and goes to retrieve his horse and go back. Because now he's fucking exhausted seeing him run around like that. <laughs> Woo! Woo! 
plus. Yeah, and then after he comes back, Vi is feeling a little more satisfied in what he's done to right his wrongs. Uh, we'll probably end up, like, maybe looking into some fabrics or something to buy. But probably not shopping until tomorrow. So he'd probably retire for the night. Oh yes, he knows, but he doesn't know where Moira lives. God, cuz cause the only person he knows that's connected to Moira is Charlie. And he they don't know where Moira is, so as long as he gets to Charlie, maybe Charlie can pass it off to Moira cuz obviously Charlie knows Mo knows good god, knows Moira. So Ah. Oh. I don't even think I fucking caught that. I was so fucking... Christ. Well, yes, but that doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> wow. Well, that's fine. Vyas isn't too obsessed with that. If she wasn't readily available near Kaimo, he's not gonna go fucking hunt her down by himself. <laughs> and especially during her mother's funeral. <laughs> like, hey, just wanted to check on if you'd be willing to go find the Feywild for me in exchange to go to an extremely hard to get to place. <laughs> yes, may I offer you a quest line in these trying times. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> I know your mother just died, but can you go find the Feywild for me? <laughs> oh, okay, but yeah, I'd say, uh, does anybody else have anything they'd like to do? Anything they'd like to find? Um, I think, like, near nighttime or so. Uh, Diana, you have a, a young man that calls for you, basically, uh, that your, your, uh, your furs, your fur coats have been done. Um, you did not give him measurements, so he had, um, very large ones made. Yes, ret retcon it to be like humanish size, <laughs> or whatever size. <laughs> I just find it amusing if we had just these oversized coats. <laughs> the bigger one. Yeah, that that's understandable. But any other, like, shavings or pieces he did not use, um, he keeps. <laughs> so, yeah, he keeps those. <clears throat> and... And you... Yeah, night, Amy. But, yeah, he, uh... You get your cloaks! You have three fur cloaks, and one that's slightly bigger than the others. Oh my. Bias will be fine. Yeah, God. <laughs> Charlie gets to go on a vacation to Haven if uh, uh, if Moira says yes. So. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I love giving people ammunition to use against us. Do it, shoot me, I dare you. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm excited. I'm gonna actually write notes about that now that I'm not freaked out. <laughs> That's okay, cause I get it. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Vias didn't even get to tell the details of what the fuck will happen if she fucks up. In Haven. This is not gonna be good, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Vice is like, go do that thing, but I just want you to know I have a thing and offer when she's back, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't- I didn't know if he would even be there, so I was like, well, if Charlie's there, that's cool. Or if Moira's there. Yeah. Gosh bless. At least Vias decided to go now before we were like, oh, Charlie's not there anymore! <laughs> Otherwise I was gonna have him wait till tomorrow, and that would have not been good. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. But I think it's probably good to say it's the 17th now. Since there wasn't... Yeah, we all go Z. Yeah. Bullets. Pew, 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 pew. Where the hell is my... Is that it? Oh, it is. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to look at how many uh, certain things I get back. Yeah, because you did ask us before, I'm pretty sure. Bless. Um, maybe we should pull money out for that currently. For fancy clothes. Okay. Okay. Bless. Um. Oh my gosh. Um,
All right. Oh no! I was like, what is going on? I was like, that sounded so weird. What's going on? I, I, it just freaked me out a little bit because I had a friend pass out during our game once. And I was like, oh no! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> yeah, that was Lau. What is it? Oh. Oh, I have that in my DMs guide. Except that's across the room and I don't want to go get it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, ten gold? Is that what it is? Yes, ten gold for the clicker for its tools. Calligrapher supplies, anyways. Um, and for an iron chain, um, uh, I'd say like if I'd say probably five silver. Then I don't think it'd even be a gold. It wouldn't nearly be that expensive. They won't be anything extremely uh, valuable, but it's protective, yeah. I get you. Less. Um, Mercy would have been staying in the room with Dylan um, while Vias was out searching for uh, clothes. So I think Vias, during the time that um, we were out looking for clothes, Susanna and Diona would probably alert you after Mercy tells him um, that Dylan is awake. Um, Mercy's in the room with Dylan and can only speak in Vias' voice, apparently. I had a can- I had a headcanon of it sounding different, but I guess that's not in the rule book. Meh. Voice of the Chain Master can only do so much. Yeah. So yeah, um, that's a thing now. When we ever gave it to him, it's 
So we have long distance calm now, basically. <laughs> Um, is there anything specific you guys want to do now today? Otherwise, um... Whoa! Gosh, bless. Um... I mean, probably fine. Yes, mom, talk to him. <laughs> I mean, I kind of had to... Um, yeah, she does the relay, and you hear voice, uh, Vias' voice respond, Well, thank goodness he's awake. <laughs> oh, you don't know, Vera. I forgot. Uh, I can kind of speak through Mercy now. The Moonweaver kind of taught me how. It's a little easier than being in one place. But it does make me blind and deaf in the other place, so let's hope Susanna and Diona are being kind to me. <laughs> I think I think he would have been like uh he would have done the whole thing like where you know when Raven does like the, the vision scene, he goes, Dylan's awake and then just goes into it. <laughs> Just like grabs onto them. <laughs> See to the future. <laughs> but um yeah, Mercy kinda like tilts her head and like jumps down onto the side of the bed and looks at you, Dylan. Uh hi. How are you feeling? Uh, we're we're on our way back now. We were just out shopping. I am myself, but this is Mercy. I am able to speak through her now. <laughs> uh, Mercy kind of like shakes her feathers. Yes, bird. No. <laughs> I think you hit your head. What happened? You're being... <laughs> You're... <laughs> now, now, no need to get heated. We'll be there soon, Dylan. Yeah, Mercy goes back to being a bird. 
<laughs> the spirit of Vias disappears. Mercy is just listening. <laughs> Mom voice. <laughs> but I, I'm assuming that you let him sleep, question mark? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. But eventually we make it. God bless. <laughs> Me and my Jean <Gigi> notes. <laughs> They're so bad, y'all. Do it. Oh, that. Uh, that was Dire Wolf stats, dear. If you just made a check. Oh wait, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Oh my god. Never mind. Uh, I had it up. I had it literally... I... I heard the little, like, doot thing, and it was the wisdom save for the direwolf for four, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> <sighs> God. <laughs> They've come to claim her. <laughs> but yeah, eventually everybody comes back to the cranky duck. Um I'm... Yeah. I mean, Vias is doing a little better after some therapy shopping. Um, <laughs> but he still looks kind of, like, anxious. Probably because he wants to go check on Dylan, you assume. It's not hard to read him at this point. <laughs> I mean, that's not in stone. <laughs> Arc privileges. <laughs> That's me sharing lore with Jamie. Yes. Joe has low dragon privileges. That's Jamie, though. She has girlfriend privileges. <laughs> I tell her biases backstories. Crimey. Um, I 
Bless. Mood. Sweet. But yeah, I think Bias probably would go check on Dylan and the, the crew. Um, probably ask them how they're doing. Everybody in the room anyways. Um, maybe we should get food soon. Uh, seems to be getting a little later. Not exactly sure what our plans are at this point. Yeah, so what Diana would have heard, mostly, um, there is a bulletin board posted in the inn that you guys are at right now. However, there's two that kind of stand out. Um, the, uh, the Margrave of Kaimel, Jaktor Kirsten, Kirsten, God, I can't, um, yes, I have to, he, he's basically the Margrave of Kaimel, he owns this place, basically, um, I think that's the right last name. I'll have to check again. But basically, the ad is for somebody to clear out some adventurers uh, willing to take on several fire snakes within the surrounding farmland west of Kaimal's city limits. Um, it's a. It says the details are that it's about a three-hour trek um, to the base or near the base of the Iron Seat Ridge. Um, for more information, um, you could probably talk to, um, you would go to the Maiden's Wish, um, to go talk to Jector, uh, Jector, Jector, the fucking A, um, at the Maiden's Wish. Um, it has listed on the, um, uh, pri, or the amount is, per fire snake is 20 gold, each killed, uh, head presented. Um, and there's another thing on there that's, uh, for a more dangerous part of this mission, if you were to take it, um, to kill, uh, a salamander, that's 50 gold per. Um, more information would be given when you go there, basically, is what you're told. Um, another one is a, um, a lesser known artificer. Um, named Holly, seems that they have need of some, uh, this is one that I was going to change the beast type to, but I don't think it really heckin' matters. Who cares about canon, right? Uh, Alimra? Alimia? Oh, sorry, forgot an eye. God dang. My eyes are not working right today. Um, and basically they're looking for claws to be harvested from these creatures that, um, apparently they're also in about the same area as, um, the other job posting. Um, it sounds like the pay can vary between how many claws you get. It seems like about 20 gold per claw is the rate that they are talking about. Um, other than that, there's really nothing too much of interest. Um, there's maybe some wolf hunting, but you guys probably cleared out what was bothering them before in the woods. So, that's all I have listed for now, because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired and we get to have small, easy tasks, possibly. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are up to, so. Okay. Well, we can end it here if that's something you're thinking of. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Bless. Uh, oh, yeah, our anniversary was... Yeah, our our anniversary is on the 18th, apparently. I'm so excited. It's our year anniversary, pretty much, you guys. Yay, we did it! Oh, bless. Okay, well, I'm... I wonder if I should stop recording then? Question mark? Okay, one second.